A dramatic ending last night to the state legislature's session. Many Democrats in the House briefly walked out of the chamber in protest. It came after lawmakers passed legislation for a gun permit that does not require hands on training and state troopers had to remove a protester from the House chamber gallery who was shouting at Speaker Glenn Casada. Meantime, Governor Lee has several bills on his desk today. The one that created controversy last night would offer a gun permit that doesn't require hands on training. It would, though, create a second type of permit called a concealed permit that would cost less and require 90 minutes of training without firing a gun. The governor would still need to sign it into law. Using a cell phone or any handheld device while driving could soon be illegal across Tennessee. The state passed the bill this week. If it becomes law, violators could be fined up to $100. Representative John Holdsclaw Jr. carried the bill and says it would make a huge impact. It's going to make Tennessee roads safer mm -hmm. and save lives. I mean, that's, that's what the whole premise of the bill is. The bill is now on Governor Lee's desk for consideration. If it passes, it would go into effect January 1st, 2020. State lawmakers unanimously passed the Jawan Latham bill. It's named after a young man who went to Bearden Middle School and was killed in a gang related shooting in 2016. The bill toughens penalties for people charged with hurting or killing children during a drive by shooting. And as the bill was being passed, Jawan's nephew Jay Zier was born. Juwan's mother says it was perfect timing.